Agnes Agnes, excerpt, scenes from a messy life. Saturdays were, since Agnes had her own company, off-limit days. Before, many years ago now, Saturdays weren't special at all. In those days when Agnes' life was so much more chaotic, every day had been a Saturday. Usually she only found out when she went shopping and everything turned out to be closed. Saturday firstly meant sleeping in. Weekdays she also didn't have to get up early anymore since Daniel had left home, but she always tried to be in her studio by 10.30. Friday nights she often hit the town with Arthur. Sometimes they planned a meet without her going home first. What once was their usual cafe, they now only visit sporadically. They both had bad memories. The somewhat sad spot took them back too much to the time when their relationship was still problematic. On top of that, there were always ladies who fastened themselves to Arthur, claiming previous engagements. Arthur fought them off bravely, and Agnes also tried giving them the cold shoulder, which rarely had any effect no matter how hard she tried. She evidently couldn't put any anger in her look, and her frown of disapproval seemed to come off as inviting. Arthur talked to the pushy women in the most distant fashion, yet forgot to introduce Agnes every time, which meant she had to tell him off afterwards. She understood it was hard for him to shake the habit to present himself as a bachelor, so she'd made it her intention to correct his wrong lovingly, but insistently. One woman went all the way. She pressed her impressive bosoms into Arthur, called him darling every other sentence, and had at some time looked at Agnes over Arthur's shoulder, saying, and who are you? I'm Agnes, she'd said, then feigning only to be interested in her empty wine glass. Friend of yours, the woman asked Arthur. Agnes waited. More than that, she heard him say, we're together. That landed. Then it was Agnes' turn to, sweet as pie, ask, and who are you? She'd momentarily considered asking, and it's my pleasure to meet, but had discarded the line as not fitting for her. Francine, her name was, and she'd only done it with Arthur once, as he told later, afterwards making almost daily calls to demand repetition. Arthur had gotten so nervous he'd considered changing his phone number, but in the end opted for a harshly praised refusal. Women go far sometimes, you know, he said worriedly. Men too, now we're on the subject, Agnes had answered. Anyway, Arthur said in conclusion, all that is all over now. And Agnes had believed him. Any other woman maybe wouldn't have believed him, but Agnes had. Distrusting somebody all the time, that was no way to live. More than that, Agnes felt she in all probability could believe him. Francine had sat down next to Agnes and tried to show herself a good loser. She asked how long they'd been a couple and what kind of relationship they had. Were they living apart together? That last question sounded a bit too hopeful again, so Agnes made the point of their having a true blue relationship loud and clear, including the fact they really lived in one house permanently. Finally, Francine had made a slow withdrawal. She discovered another darling in the cafe and had left them in peace. It was for these reasons they somewhat avoided the place without plainly saying why. <laughs>